Oh, you are incredible. Wow, God has given you such creativity. Let's see that one. You guys want to see that one more time? Yeah, yeah me too. Okay, go for it. Hey, roll around like a car. Off the big car. Oh, let's give another hand to Brandon and Foster the car. Foster the car. Yeah, Brandon. Um, Brandon is going to uh, introduce um, the next part of the announcement. You're going to be servant girl for the father, and you're going to be townsperson number one. This is the lot. You're a citizen. You're over there. And you, come, you are pig. Okay. You are pig. Okay, so I need the father over there, I need the servant over here, I need the pig over there, and I need the, all the boys over here. Oh, citizen, you're over there. Yeah. All right. I'm Big Daddy. Okay. So here's the just just act it out. Just try and mime it a little bit or whatever you can do. Okay. Okay. And the parable of the prodigal son. And You're right. Sorry. And <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, unprofessional. And all right. <sighs> there was a man who had two sons. The younger one said to his father. The younger one said to his father, Father, give me my share of the estate. So he divided his property between them. He divided, there you go. Not long after that, though, the younger son got together all he had and set off for a distant country. There he goes. After he had spent everything, and there he squandered his wealth and his wi in wild living. So squander your wealth and live wildly. There you go. All right. After he had spent everything, there was a severe famine. That means there is no food in the whole country. And he was hungry. Not the your country, though. Okay, All right. <laughs> so he went and hired himself out to a citizen of that country who sent him to his field to feed the pigs. Feed pigs. Oi, oi. Oi, 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 oi. The boy longed to fill his stomach with the pods that the pigs were eating from, but no one would give him anything to eat. He was hungry. So, when he came to his senses, he said, How many of my father's hired men have food to spare, and here I am starving to death? I will set out and go back to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired men. And so he got up and went to his father. Wait, wait, go over there by the corner. You, go over there by the corner. Go by the corner, go by the corner. All right, because this, this is the exciting thing, it's the climax. All right. Uh, but while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son in slow motion, slow motion. and ran, <laughs> threw his arms around him and hugged him. <laughs> the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to call your son. But the father said to his servant, Give your servant, quick! Bring the best robe and put it on him. Give, give him my slippers. <laughs> Bring the best slippers put on And put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. There, go, 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 now. For this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. We must celebrate. So they began to celebrate. Meanwhile, the older son was in the fields, doing his thing. And he heard music and dancing from a far off distance. So he called one of the servants and asked him, what's going on? <laughs> your brother has returned home, he replied, she replied. And your father has killed the fat calf because he has him back safe and sound. And the younger brother became angry. Ah! <laughs> and he refused to go in, so his father went out and pleaded. Snapped. Pleaded with him, but he pleaded, <laughs> and he asked. <laughs> but he answered his father, "Look, all these years I've been slaving for you, and here and never disobeyed your orders. Yet you never gave me even a goat, so I could celebrate with my friends." But when this son of yours has squandered your property with prostitutes comes home, you kill the fat calf for him. 
My son, he says, my savior. Yo, what's up? You are always with me, and everything I have is yours. It's all G. But we had to celebrate and be glad, because this brother of yours was dead and is alive again. He was lost and he was found. <laughs> and seen. Get it off. <laughs> it hurts to try it. Almost, almost. Yeah, so, you know, I've been doing it for a while. Singing is kind of great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to drive myself so crazy.